Yeah, I mean, that's that's what really YouTube is, right? Just building a reputation, yeah. right? That's what it is, right? I mean... Yeah. But yeah, I'm not scared of nobody, bro. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Fusion Strike! <laughs> I'm boxing in one of the biggest YouTuber events in history. The only problem is, I've never boxed before. I have got $10,000 in a mission. Purchase every Charizard I could find in Los Angeles. I'll be traveling from card shop to card shop, buying out every Zard I come across until all the money is... Hey guys, welcome back. It's time we're taking a look at more CGC and Sean Bassick collaboration. Sick, nasty, I know, it's like it never ends. Today, we'll be opening up the Japanese version of Team Up, Tag Bolt, one of the rarest Japanese Pokemon card sets in the world. Looking for that alternate? Oh, oh, Jayla, but listen. You don't want to be somebody that you're not, all right? Let's not, let's just, let's just, come on, just be yourself. All right, I'm sorry, man. I mean, I hate, I hate to, the to world. To get to the truth, to get to anywhere, you have to risk insulting people, offending people, to yeah. get to the truth of things. Yeah, I, I, Especially, like, in, even in Pokemon, right? Yeah. Like, I call out a lot of bullshit. And I could call out a lot more, bro. Like, if I really wanted to. Cool trainer Ryan, you look like if Draco Malfoy worked out for a year, got a lesbian haircut, and tried out for the U.S. Women's Olympic soccer team. <laughs> you serious? In all honesty, I am 100% a proud member of the loose meat curtain hanger gang when it comes to content creators on youtube in the pokemon niche cool trainer ryan is hands down my number one favorite content creator from an entertainment standpoint and probably my number two favorite content creator overall just behind tca gaming my guy but okay so if you're here Maybe you heard about the new J Love Cool Trainer Ryan drama immediately following the fact that Cool Trainer Ryan was literally just on OK J Love's podcast. So this video, I'm gonna be honest. I want to I want to give an, a, as authentic of a take as I possibly can. Uh, so I, I I didn't rehearse any of this. I have no idea what I'm going to say. Um, I just want to give a quick five six minutes. A very brief overview of the issue Cool Trainer Ryan has with these four individuals, and then I will dive slightly deeper into the newest, the OK J Love drama. And mo most importantly, guys, look, this is your opportunity, this is your chance. Get down in the comment section below, and I don't care if you want to be very professional. Um, and, and be very level-headed and give your opinion on one or all of these content creators or you just want to be an absolute degenerate and just here's your chance to get off your chest the way you feel about any of these four or five or even me but this is your chance get in that comment section please all right so J Love and Cool Trainer Ryan there is some internet beef that played out yesterday for all, everyone to see on Instagram. So as far as that drama goes, I'll read Cool Trainer Ryan's DMs that he screenshot posted. And then uh, OK J Love's response is just way too long. So I'll just pop it up on screen. But uh, but here we go. So here's, here's the DM that started it all. You want to air it live? Fine. Nothing I wouldn't say privately or publicly. I'll have Sean film it live. Stop being a pussy, and I'll stop calling you a pussy. Just call me a pussy in person. Don't get heated. If you weren't being one, I wouldn't say it. Settled. So you think I'm heated. LOL. 
L-M-A-O. I'm just telling you to poll that shit in person. Okay, bro, poll what shit? See you at card party, J-Love. He's not even going to card party. Sadly. Alright, so, and then, uh, go ahead and pause the video and you could read j Lub's response. He responded also on Instagram within like an hour or two with multiple stories. So I'll go ahead and, uh, post that now. So to recap, let's just start from the beginning. Alright, so why does Ryan hate Leonhart? This one is pretty easy. Um, every reason under the sun, okay? So Ryan really doesn't like Leonhart just because of a generalized fakeness, unauthenticity, um, a whole bunch of stuff related to just being flaky, unauthentic, and caring way too much about views, uh, exploiting children in certain ways, rare candy mystery packs, yada, yada, yada. There's a whole bunch. When I said exploit children in certain ways, I meant like fundraiser or hospital or children's this and that, Pokemon cards, yay. Um, that kind of crap. You know, nothing more than that. Um, but all in all, Ryan just really doesn't like Leon Hart because Leon Hart was the face of the Pokemon content creation community for like three years. And Ryan basically just says to, something to the effect of, I see through all his bullshit, okay? Number two, Mystic Rips. Mystic Rips is literally just a newer, younger, cleaner, even, even less authentic version of Leon Hart. I think even Cool Trainer Ryan would, would admit that Leon Hart probably likes Pokemon cards more than Mystic Rips. Mystic Rips is just a guy who wants to be a famous YouTuber who will do literally anything to get views and try to become more popular than his girlfriend. Okay? So, Rattle, number three. Rattle Pokemon, uh, it's very cut and dry simple. It's as simple as they were on a uh, Pokemon Card Knowledge live stream together, and Rattle just kept cutting him off, speaking over him, let him wouldn't let him finish his thought or sentences, and Ryan just really didn't appreciate him doing that or when anyone does that which none of us appreciate being talked over and being cut off over and over again so that's just as simple as an acute scenario right there now so j love we already went over that it's kind of more or less explain that but that is the current the current new drama that cool trainer ryan has found himself in is this good for the Pokemon TCG community? Is this good for content creation on YouTube? Is Cool Trainer Ryan a problem or is Cool Trainer Ryan a solution? So, my opinion is PokerRev. 2.5 million subs, probably the most viewed human being on YouTube in the Pokemon niche. The number one greatest thing PokerRev has ever done for the Pokemon community, in my opinion, is force Cool Trainer Ryan to start a YouTube channel. I mean, what, what, tell me one thing better that PokerRev has done. So, you know, two years ago, the thought of someone getting on YouTube on a daily basis and saying, fuck Leon Hart, over and over again, was unfathomable and now it's like commonplace okay and drama gets views drama gets a lot of views whether you hate it you love it you usually click on it okay so pokemon card content creator drama overall isn't bad for the community it adds flavor it adds pizzazz it gives people something to talk about and cool trainer ryan gives people a lot to talk about okay now from a personal perspective cool trainer ryan um i've been youtubing for about a year now and there is hardly anyone i could think of that has been cooler to me than cool trainer ryan from you know watching my videos commenting on some of my video videos sharing my videos 
on his Instagram. Um, you know, just I've never had a negative experience with Cool Trainer Ryan, and in fact, I have had nothing but extremely positive experiences with Cool Trainer Ryan. And some people have a certain personality type where they just simply put like to avoid drama. The split second they get uncomfortable, they would just rather not deal with it. Cool Trainer Ryan is one of those people who, you know, you want to call him fragile, you know, whatever, okay? He, he is very fragile from the standpoint of if you annoy him, he would rather just immediately shut you down, put him on his bad list, put, you know, put that person on the bad list, and just never talk to him again, okay? That's one way to avoid confrontation is just like, no, nah, I don't like this guy, just done. I'm done with this guy. And that's fine. The problem, I guess, would be to choose that route but then to continuously drop little hints to your community on public forums, YouTube, Instagram, whatever, that you really dislike this, this content creator, but you're not being 100% straightforward or transparent about it, and you're simply just kind of little breadcrumbs, okay? Little breadcrumbs can often lead to a bigger issue down the road because every little breadcrumb content creators on YouTube are very, very, very cognizant, very superficial, very aware of when other content creators talk about them. One way or another, they find out and in general, content creators don't like to be talked about unless it's super positive. So if you constantly leave breadcrumbs for another content creator to see and pick up, that content creator is going to let it fester and is going to get a little frustrated with you. So obviously I'm referring to OKJ OK Love and the fact that Cool Trainer Ryan has made various comments left and right, whether it be things J Love said at Card Party about becoming a YouTuber and how he thinks it's complete bullshit and terrible advice, to this new thing about being secretly recording someone against their will when Jay loves like, what are you talking about? That was an accident. Okay. The point is Ryan has chosen to avoid conflict by not addressing it with the person himself, but at the same time, make it very obvious that he has issues with this person. So it's his choice whether he wants to hash it out with Jay love or not. And he has chosen not to. Granted, I will say, Cool Trainer Ryan promised all of us an actual video explaining this beef between him and J Love. And instead, all we got was a screenshot on Instagram. So that's kind of lame, Ryan. You, you promised us a whole video, and instead, you, you gave us a screenshot of some Instagram DMs. Kind of lame, okay? But overall, Two weeks from now, a week from now, no one's even going to be talking about this. This is going to be old news, and there'll be new drama. And that's the the beauty of drama, is drama is a never-ending cycle that gives you content, gives you something to talk about other than cards. In this case, the Jayla versus Cool Trainer Ryan case, it is completely grown-ass man in his 30s versus grown-ass man in his 30s, and it has nothing to do with Pokemon cards. So, to be honest, I don't give a shit, okay? And I don't think you give a shit. And I don't think anybody actually gives a shit at all, except for OK J Love and Cool Trainer Ryan. If it doesn't have to do with Pokemon cards, I don't give a shit, okay? However, I will say... OK J Love has been doing this for even longer than Cool Trainer Ryan, and he has established himself, I think, very well and in a very respectable way on YouTube from a Japanese Pokemon card hobbyist hailing from Down Under. And a lot of people like OK J Love because he can be extremely likable. He can be polarizing, but overall, 
He edits very well. He travels the entire world in the name of Pokemon TCG. He knows a ton about the Japanese market, and he absolutely loves the game itself and plays in tournaments. Cool Trainer Ryan can't even say that, okay? So, okay, J-Love has a huge place in this niche, and is going to be here for a long time. But in a completely different way, Cool Trainer Ryan has a rapidly expanding place in this niche, and he unless he actually shuts down his channel or gets banned, is also going to be here for an exceptionally long time. This is not the last time these two are going to butt heads, and things are not, they're not going to fix this. This is just going to go, this is just going to go away, and then it's going to come back, come back up again in the future, and it's again going to be two grown-ass white males in their 30s butting heads because of ego, and honestly, none of us should care, and we're not going to care. We're going to act like we're going to care. We're going to watch this video. We're going to give our opinions. But at the end of the day, it's all good for the hobby, as long as it ain't fucking Logan Paul. All right. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. That's all I got. I'm not choosing sides. I like both these dudes a lot. <clears throat> like, they both, they both did some... Like, don't call someone a pussy. Come on, J-Love, what do you think was going to happen calling Cool Trainer Ryan a pussy? Does that seem like the kind of guy that's going to take that very well? Probably not, okay? But Ryan, don't, don't do the screenshot on Instagram shit. If you're going to promise us a video, get us that fucking video. All right, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Air it out. Who's your favorite? Who do you hate? I don't care. Let's get nasty in the comment section. And that's where I want this video to truly live on is via the comment section and you guys going back and forth and having your own squabbles about this crap. Because honestly, who gives a shit about my opinion? All right, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Deuces.